Welcome back to Herb Matter. Quick recap of the bomb shelter restoration project is I went to check on my wife in her lair and I saw that she moved all the furniture to one side and tried to escape and then I ran into her. I barely escaped guys so I reinforced the door and I started to build a trap to capture her but I had to make it bigger because she had powers had grown since she'd been down there. I even named it after her which I thought was sweet and then I installed the trap and I started strength training just in case it didn't work. Look how strong I got but you have to eat a lot of protein when you're strength training. But she said I was cool, and that she liked my Ryobi drill. So just like a simp, I let her out. Here she is escaping. And since then, we've been inseparable. But my buddy lost his hand at work, so I found this whole piece of pipe laying in the bottom of the ocean. I made a barbecue grill, and we ate his fingers. Oh. Wife was disgusted by my newfound uh, cannibalism for some reason, and she locked me in the bomb shelter. But she watched Twilight, which made me sick. I offered to take her on an expensive date, so she got ready, and I gathered up my money for our date. But then she was vulgar. In this area, throw it at me. So I threw a rock at her, and then she threw a rock at me. <laughs> so I decided to forget about the wife for a while and focus on my proctology business. We can clear any kind of blockages you might have, even if it's a Richard Gear type. We do it painlessly and humanely. Oh, as clean as a whistle. But if you do have more severe blockages, we do have heavier equipment. And for only $20 more, we could add this to make your experience less painful. But if you don't subscribe to the channel, we add sand. In no time, you're gonna be feeling better. You can hear the relief. Oh yeah. And we got some mud on the tip. And that's not it, folks. If you're a little overweight, we are certified tapeworm installers. <sighs> this is great, but you don't have to worry about Look nervous clinchers. You've probably heard about my next client. She was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. We got it. We got it, guys. A little bit. Common side effect. <laughs> you peed a little bit. <laughs> Look at these results. You can see the sky in there. My next client swallowed a chair. I don't care that she swallowed a chair because the hot wife came back around. I'm going on a date. Watch the episode. Perfect. Ball's a little higher today than it normally is, uh, but it it was cold last night, so we'll just we'll just raise the trailer to compensate. Doing a lot of compensating around here, herbomatic. So here we go. Come on. Gears in this thing are binding up on me for some reason. Here we go. Now it's locked in place. They have a delay in the trailer latch as kind of a safety feature. <clears throat> Some states require you to have this plug here, but uh, we're all right. We're just gonna stick it in this hole. Oh. Let's get, get our lawnmower out of the way. It's blocking our, our little appliance dolly here. Now these blue dollies are rated at three quarter ton, you know, like your F-250. Uh, if you have any other color, they're rated for far less, like six, seven, 800 pounds. So just be careful. This is an old row. It's a 1984 model or 83 model. The same company that used to make the jute boxes. They might still do. I ran this one for probably 17 years and I paid, I want to say I paid like 25 bucks for it or something. It was going to a scrapyard. The guy was just happy for me to haul it away. Now this machine only weighs eight, 900 pounds, so it's not a big deal, but she's got an awkward shape. A lot like my dates in college. So what we're gonna do is, and she's got a, a heel stuck in the floor, a lot like my dates in college. So. Let's go ahead and pull her out. And we'll strap her down. 
So these dollies actually have parking brakes. That's right here. And what that does is it locks the front wheels to help you tip it back without it rolling back with you. Look at this. This insert here is horribly faded and I just noticed that the sun has blasted this off and now it looks brand new underneath. I wonder if it uh, had a plastic coating that you were supposed to remove and just nobody ever did. Almost got hit by the hooker. So, you gotta watch out for that. Okay, so today we're gonna be uh, finishing the clean out on the bomb shelter, doing kind of a straightening out, getting rid of anything that's left over. The bomb shelter spiff up. How do you do this? Squeeze, squeeze the top, no, squeeze the top half only. This, this? Yeah, squeeze that down. No. No, no, so squeeze those two levers together. I can't. The small it's lever to the outside. It's gonna snap me. I know it. It's gonna snap your finger off. A very sophisticated locking system here. Oh, it almost snapped my hand right off. <laughs> you look really grumpy. I'm really grumpy because I'm married to you. trying to bail on me. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> on a Saturday night. Uh -uh. This is all the junk we have. It has a permanent smell. And it just needs to go away now. Because I need more room for activities. I'm going to start with this one. That chair? I kind of like that chair. Let's leave that Are you one. you get attached to every chair? What about that ugly one behind you? What's wrong with this burlap chair? That's beautiful. You guys haven't put it together. He's somewhat of a hoarder and he gets attached to everything. I hope there's nothing in it, under it. There's probably tons of spiders. Uh, are there spiders? <laughs> well, something's touching me. <laughs> ah! Kylie left her poop snake down here. Um, I don't know what she was doing, but uh, I told her to clean up after she was done with her hobbies. And her vacuum, you know, she's the only one that knows how to run any of the vacuum cleaners and she left it down here too, so. So you want to carry all this stuff up yourself? <laughs> you left your fish sticks down here. Oh yeah. And it's. Do you like? And the, it broke the. Do you like fish sticks? No. Okay, then you're not, you're not a gay fish. Stupid snake. I forgot that you filled this with sand and rocks. Right here. Come here. Come on. You're okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Oh. Come on. Hi, dude. Come here. Nobody. Dude, come here. Wow. You came from there and now you're here. <laughs> dude, his mind's blown. He's lived here all his life and has never seen the bomb shelter. <laughs> I just brought him down on a whim. What do you think? What do you think about this place? Commence nervous pant. I was going to poke you with the fish stick when you came down, but then he brought the dog. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> you don't want to be poking me with that. If you give me a taste, babe, I might run off. I made it extra long and everything. <laughs> you make it extra long for my benefit? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whose else is it. Stuff I'm going to keep, I'm going to throw in this box, Kylie. There's already some like nuts, like some mixed nuts and stuff in here that I want to hang on to. Come on. So we've got the <laughs> golden wheels, this clamp, and mixed nuts that I want to hang on to so far. So, 
Oh, look at There's even more. Look at that. Oh, man. I want to keep this phone book from 1987 to 1988. Look. We got the compu shop. Church, chiropractor. It's got everything you need. Yeah, I don't think you need a new phone book every year. I mean. We have um, the rest of it, M through Z, right here. Who, who won this prize? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Go go show it. Maybe we'll just give it away again. Uh, the person who won this never collected, so... It comes with a gift bag and everything. The first person who can tell me who likes fish sticks but doesn't get the joke wins this prize. It comes complete with a gift bag and all the tissue paper. So that if you don't like it, you can re-gift it. It's a brand new plate hanger. And it fits 7 to 10 inch plates. I just put my plates in the cupboard. So, but you can hang yours on the wall. And anytime you're ready to eat, it comes right down. One thing that my husband likes to do is put the broom and dustpan in the trash can and then accidentally throw them away. But look, it also ejects all the trash. Perfect. In case of emergency, in case you think you might have thrown away, you know, like a roll of tape you could use or a washer, you can just eject all the trash onto the floor and look through it again. And babe, look, our uh, our high temperature grease is here. Did you want to cut off the lights for a little bit? No. 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 Well, it's worth the shot, fellas. I mean, it is good for. Well, it doesn't really give a temperature rating. She's always getting mad and blowing a gasket, guys. Oops. Well, here's a brand new gasket for something. If I hang on to that forever, I might figure out, you know, one day I might need that. If you hang on to it forever, then your grandkids will throw it out. Ford V8, 352, 1966. 390 engine and a 410 and a 428. Oh, also truck engines, 352, 360, and 390. 1965 to 1976. And it's an exhaust manifold gasket, and it's one of them, of two. Oh. So you never know when you might just need just one. Okay. All right, guys. If you want this brand new Ford exhaust gasket, all you got to do is guess the wife's weight. First person that guesses God. it. <laughs> hey, hey, try not to bang up my elevator. Get lippy with me. How about this chair that has almost no... Let it go. Should we let it go? Let it go. Oh. I don't have any more time in my life. Okay. Someone else will love it somewhere else. In the dump? Maybe. They'll love it in the dump. Well, first they have an opportunity at the street. What? They have an opportunity at the street side. Oh yeah, it's going out to curb collection. Where are you going to fit? Listen, if you want this stuff, you guys, it's going to be out on the curb next week. And our address is 867-5301 West Melrose. Okay? So, zip code is 90201. I'm safely holding the door shut. What do you think of this cabinet? I think it's time. Before we throw it out, let's uh, double check that there's no like money or anything hidden in it. In the bottom of any of these drawers. Nothing here. Nothing there. What's written on the bottom of it? Right. There's this in there. Oh, fire! Please. Okay, I'll throw them away. Nothing under here either. It also says right. I'm sure that was going to say left. Right? Check underneath it. Nothing. It looks like one of the critters was shredding the phone book into this top drawer to make like a little nest. So. We did have a squirrel that was running down here at one point and it was carrying oranges from the orange trees down here. 
but I trapped and released him elsewhere because uh, he started chewing on my car's wires. I think you can fit more. Okay. That's what she said. Okay. What are you gonna stick in there? Ooh, that's covered in spider webs. Don't stick that in there. About this. <laughs> yeah, we've not seen what's in there. Go ahead and pull her open. Nothing. Wait, there's something in the bottom there. There is something in here, guys. They still stick after all these years, guys. Works great. Why are they crooked? That's just where my placement is. It's born this way. You know, also, if you guys would like to win the rest of these, if you can guess the dude's favorite song, then uh, we'll send these out to you. So, first person to comment that. Link in the description. Yeah, yeah, let's put a link in there for some Avery. Ties from 1978. Ooh, look at this. What's that? That's fancy. Have you guys heard of an ROC pin? So every pin I have ever had quits on me. I wonder if this one still writes. That would be interesting. We'll give it a little bit of warm up. It's a super thin pin. I don't know. I feel the ball rolling, but uh, I don't feel any. I think the ink may, may have dried up. Look how thin that is. Here's my finger for reference. This is, I'm gonna keep this pin because for references, it could be handy. <laughs> look at how big it makes my finger look. Look at that. We spent 10 minutes filming this junk tabletop. Hey, dude! Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I know. What? I know. You get inside the metal part. I have to go in here. There you go. That's fine. Hey, have you seen this seat cushion? Do you like these gold patterns? Take a little look at these patterns. I just don't know why you gotta be so violent when you could just take a look at this. He loves it when he wins. <laughs> look how happy he is. Look in that, that uh, T there, there's a light switch in it. Isn't that funny? I didn't know they made them like that unless that's a custom job. Also. Just don't turn that on, okay? I don't think this is right. Oh, there's an active spider on it. Like yeah, it runs there. Wired into an extra cord. With wire nuts and then just hanging down. Wire nuts and then it's just hanging down. There's something crawling on it. I was gonna touch it, but I'm not now. Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> When I move furniture, I usually just curl it out, you know? <laughs> if you don't have time to get to the gym, you know? There's no room to stand, but last time I stood in here, I almost ate it. I didn't see you. Well, when I got out. You think you were perfectly safe. <laughs> think? You should try it again. <laughs> You're trying to get me killed, I think. You think we could throw these out of here? Break the elevator. No, it'll just be stuck down there. I feel like one of those 1960s 
girls that would dance in the cage or whatever, you know, the chrome <laughs> cage. Oh, yeah. Oh, the bathtub. Forgot about that. Bathtub full of junk. I'm probably going to grab my dust mask once we get to the bathroom. You the always bathroom. put your dust, dust mask on when you go in the bathroom after me. Mm. As a hoarder, I almost have to get rid of things in stages. Or it hurts too much. These chairs have tags on them. Look at these tags from the chairs. If you guys want to read that, you can just hit pause and check that out. Hickory chairs. Hickory dickory dock. Chairs get thrown off the dock. Here's your wife muffler, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Let's pop that on. I'm starting to get some smart thoughts. Now, now the wife, the wife muffler doesn't stop all the sound as we learned last time, but it does reduce it by several decibels. Why is this loose? Did my head shrink? That's what he said. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's start to clean up this debris in here. Look at all this. This is the tub. Jim's is uh, one of our number one contributing patrons, and he uh, he came down here and used the bathroom and left that. So you're disgusting, Jim's. <laughs> Any fans that we have. <laughs> oh, I'll grab this piece. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders and weird eggs and stuff. It's good because eggs are getting expensive these days. Gross. We've got a lot of them down here. Spiders everywhere. We've got a lot of spiders and a lot of them are alive. I wonder what they're eating down here. I just wouldn't think there'd be a lot of stuff alive down here. There's enough skin cells for centuries. I don't know that spiders eat skin cells. I don't think they do. They do eat other bugs. They eat other bugs that eat skin cells, so. I don't know what you're talking about. That wife muffler's working pretty good. Wait, you got gloves and I'm picking out of the tub? Why don't you grab your gloves? Oh, I do have gloves. Yeah, you have two pairs down here. Oh, you I wore just, them earlier. I was just, uh. <laughs> I was just going at it raw and this tub is gross. <laughs> So I could poop everywhere, like bug poop or something. Roach poop? I don't know. I know what we're not doing tonight. You know I clean up pretty good, babe. You want to stomp that down? It's, it's not going to go down any further. Careful, there's boards with nails. Oh, here, we'll use this board. I'm gonna hang on to the non-nail side. Oh, I got it to like half. If you wanted more dust, you got it, baby. Wow. Don't worry about the ceiling falling into the tub. I'm sure we're still structurally sound. <laughs> this may be a good time to introduce this. Oh. <laughs> Another tool. <laughs> you, you, you watched me make 400 scoops and then... <laughs> I just saw a toilet spider. He crawled right up in there. So what? I saw a toilet spider. He crawled right in there. The toilet spider was my nickname my mom gave me. <laughs> I don't know what it meant. Well, there's a live one above your head. Sorry, right. not gonna bother me. Oh, he's, he's looking to jump. Those spiders don't do nothing. They got little tiny mouths. Look at this beautifully cra crafted wood toilet tank cover. Just look at the craftsmanship on this. They actually cut it to profile to fit the tank. For some reason, it's got a spacer on one side. Oh, it's so the thing can lift up on the one side. It's oh, too big for it. I see. You know what it is? Is yeah, because the regular ones are kind of hollow on the top, mm. so they have a spacer to let the float up. <laughs> I'm glad that we solved that mystery, because it would have bothered me forever. And here's your shaving mirror. I'll we'll just leave that here. Let me sweep all this stuff. I'm gonna have you sweep. You know how to work that. 
you know how to ride the broom better than anybody, so. This place is going to be spotless. There are giant spiders everywhere. I just saw another one. Those spiders aren't going to bother you. Have you ever looked behind the door? No, oh, but I'm sure there's nothing back there. What are you breaking up? A termite tunnel? I don't know. Maybe. It looks like a termite tunnel. What an elegant dance. This is the dance he did during uh, our courtship. It worked. All right, we're standing in the bathroom, but I've never been able to look behind the door because of all the stuff on the floor. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's just lots and lots of spiders. Here's that, uh, here's one of the water tanks suspended from the ceiling, just above the tub. They ripped out all the drywall trying to steal the copper, unfortunately, idiots. So the squirrel was bringing down all these rocks and there's piles and piles of them. Look at, I mean, this is, this is thick right here. And look, oh, look at this termite tube that's kind of floating in midair. Kick that over. Okay, that tube was just floating in midair there. There's lots and lots of rocks here. Well, I could take the trash out for you, ma'am, but uh, you're going to have to work out a deal. <laughs> well, I'll carry this if you carry that. <laughs> that's the only deal I'm going to work with you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> she keeps poking me with these fish sticks. <laughs> Look at mixed in the rocks is all these pistachio shells that the squirrel dragged down here too. Look at the size of the nut he brought down here. Oh She's my God. gotta be five foot, <laughs> five foot eight. Seen. That's no cause for concern. What do you say? Could be from anything. We won't worry about this blood stain or the subsequent drag marks. These <laughs> little footprints. The same Let's go get in the shower. You want to get in the shower together? Mm. Huh? Maybe. Is it heavy because of what it's made of or is it saturated with No, it's heavy because it's made of Skin steel. Cells. No. Will it even fit on the elevator? It will. Hey, I built this elevator to fit this couch. Okay. Hang on. Tilted it the other way. Yeah, because where am I going to stand, right? Yeah, I don't know. Figure it out. Gonna have to stand in the hoops again. All right. It's like exactly the wrong way. Maybe I can stand right okay, here. Tilt, tilt it down and I'll tilt it back up. Holy. Oh, How's that? Oh. Look. 
looks extremely it looks extremely safe can you even reach the thing i can't even fall out this way wait if you lean back i can probably squeeze my arm in there hang on i can get the thing no oh, super dusty this thing So over here is a little faucet. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. This is getting all the spiders super excited. <laughs> I don't want to turn that on too much because I don't know. What could happen? So, yeah, water came out of that faucet. Really? Yeah. Wow. I wonder if that means if, if there's still some water in these tanks overhead. In case you guys haven't seen it, there's tanks, major tanks, uh, major tanks for watching the video, but also these are some major tanks hanging from the ceiling here. It's pretty wild. That, I mean, that one sounds empty. I'm not going to hit that one because of all the webs. I heard it? Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. clears throat> oh, I was trying to wheel it off out of frame. <laughs> oh. Let's pull the carpet forward a little bit. <laughs> okay, here. This carpet really ties the room together. No, the rug really ties the room together. Oh, the rug broke. We put big dusty prints right across. Oh my gosh. <laughs> something. What is it? Oh my gosh. What a vulgar <laughs> lamp you have. Why do you have vulgar lamps like that? Winding up spider webs in it. It's all right, they like it. doing to that lady in there. <laughs> Cleaning her up. She needs a bath. Because she's filthy. Wait for the tubes to warm up.
doing here? I need to tell you something. So there was three friends walking down the beach and one of them trips over something. And he bends over and he, he picks it up and he rubs it to clean it off. And it turns out to be an old lamp. And a genie comes shooting out of this lamp, right? And the three men step back, they're kind of scared. And the genie says, thank you for waking me from my thousand year slumber. And he goes, and as a reward, each one of you gets three wishes. And so he goes to the first guy and he goes, what do you wish for? And the first guy goes, I wish I had a billion dollars. Poof, he's standing there with a receipt for his bank account. This says he's got a billion, three dollars and 50 cents in his checking account, right? Okay, next guy goes, huh? And he thinks about it, you know, after hearing that first one. And he says, uh, he says, I wish I was the richest man in the world. Poof, he's standing there with a bank statement, $500 billion in his checking account. You know, first guy realizes he's been outsmarted. So the third guy listens to what these first two guys are saying. And he goes, hmm. He goes, you know what? I want my right arm to go clockwise like this, right? For the rest of my life. So the genie goes, poof. And his right arm just starts swinging like this, just involuntarily, right? First guy sees that and he goes, huh? And he goes, I wish I had the most beautiful wife in the world. Poof. He's got this gorgeous woman hanging off his arm, you know, and she adores him. And uh, second guy goes, um, he thinks about that, you know, and he says, I wish I was the most handsome man in the world. Poof. His look started improving immediately, right? And the first guy's wife starts kind of flirting with him, you know, kind of looking, giving him eyes. Well, third guy sees this and he goes, huh? And he says, uh, I want my left arm to go counterclockwise like this for the rest of my life, right? So he's got his right arm doing this and he's got his left arm doing this like this, right? Because, you know, he's thinking ahead. You know, what? like what's he planning, right? So the first guy has his last wish. Jeannie goes, it's your last wish. What, what do you wish for? And he thinks and he goes, you know, I want to be healthy and I want to never get sick for the rest of my life till the day I die. Poof, all of a sudden, like, you know, he has a pimple clear up and his knees don't give him any more pain, right? Second guy sees, you know, what he wished for and he goes, huh, and he thinks and he says, I wish that I was 29 for the rest of my life. In fact, I, I wish that I was 29 and I never died. I just stayed 29 forever. Jeannie goes, poof. The guy immediately starts de-aging, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Third guy sees all this, you know, and he's got his arms going like this, right? And uh, he says, I want my head to do this. I want to nod back and forth for the rest of my life. I want to do that. He wishes for it. Genie, poof. So his head, he's got his arms going like this, right? And they all walk away, right? The genie, the genie flies off. He's free. The first guy walks away, second guy walks away, third guy walks away like this, right? And uh, I can't even do it like this. And uh, so you have one arm going, they're no. both going the same direction. No. Oh, okay. No, so like this. <laughs> it's important. Okay. So, so anyways, uh, five years later, the same three friends meet up on the beach again, right? Mm -hmm. The first guy gets there first, the second guy gets there second, and the, the first guy goes, you know, this has been amazing. It's incredible. I invested my billion dollars. And he goes, and my friends and I are set for, my family and I are set for practically for life. Like we're very rich. And, um, and he goes, and my wife is a, like a real firecracker in bed. And he goes, I am just so happy. And the second guy goes, well, he says, I've been able to start charities all over the world. I'm still the richest man in the world. And you're right, your wife is a firecracker in bed, right? And just then the third guy shows up and he's going like this, right? And he's got sweat rings on his shirt, right? And he's exhausted and he's got sweat rings over there. And he shows up and he goes, guys, I think I messed up. <laughs> well, it's the longest joke in the world. Out of here. She'll think about it and she'll be back. It's a pretty good joke. Don't do it. I still love you.
<laughs> okay. I wanted to show you guys something really cool. This little radio that she turned on earlier does work. And it really does take a little time to warm up the tubes. So let's fire her up and take a listen. It gets better reception if you hang on to the antenna here. Here's one of the original lights, and its wires run down here like this. To this nest of wire. You try hooking that to the antenna, see what that does. If they're gonna turn the basketball over that much is what I'm trying to say. So if it's 12, it's 15, then you better make it up. Okay, fair, but, but my point is, you keep bringing up the number. The number is right in line, for the most part, okay. with, what's average in the NBA. Okay, so they're but, not doing any, any other team stuff. Well, that number's hurting them more than it is a lot of the other teams. Well, I don't know about that. I, I could probably go through every game, and you could probably say, Philly's not one of the best teams in the league, and they're the... Sports bar con las chicas más sexys para que disfrutes más de tu comida. Dirty Sports Bar and Grill, 3308 Avenida Grand, al sur de la Indian School. Then at Dirty's. Auto room. Auto room. So she works really well. She's meant to have an external antenna, so that works fine. Really any big piece of metal works fine. And uh, let's take a look at her tag here. Oh, there you go, external antenna. It tells you the tube locations. I can feel the heat on the box. There's her model. There's a stamp here that says 43. I don't know if that means 1943, but it might, I don't know. She's a real beauty. Boy, was it a bargain at like 20 bucks or something. Beautiful radio. And I mean, the reception's fine. It's, it's fine. You can definitely imagine somebody listening to the radio and just sitting there, you know. So from here on out, and I'm not sure that you said it, they're, they're, more, they're more trendy down than moving up. It's gonna be interesting to see how they can handle and, and get this team, number one, stay healthy. Number two, to continue to trend in a way that they know that they're going to shoot lights out. They're going to put lights out to number one. If they're in the play-in to win that first game, you're going to move forward. So I don't know. I just, I just don't see. I still, when you think that they're the kind of chemistry we are, just there's still something to miss. We you know, what I find just very interesting is the fact that the four teams that are currently in the play-in tournament, Phoenix, Dallas, the Lakers, and Golden State Warriors, all have real Sit on the chaise. It's gross. Yes, no, that's part of the rule. 